Good afternoon. It's my honor and privilege to welcome you to another yet a new initiative from Exchange for Media. Today we discuss uh, the growth in Bharat, the unlimited potential. We look at what has happened to growth in uh, and the demand in uh, rural India and semi-urban India in tier two and tier three cities, which is the real India, which is the real Bharat. And to discuss that, uh, we have a panel of experts who are stakeholders in this uh, growth journey. And the biggest uh, question for all business owners, media owners is demand. So let's look at the demand in these uh, key markets as we would call them. Let me welcome our panelists. We have Mr. Girish Agarwal, who is the promoter of the Dainik Bhaskar group. And he understands the consumers and the media landscape really well, having been active at it for more than 25 years. Welcome, Girish ji. Uh, thank you for making time. We also have Mr. Gul Bahar Thorani, who's the Vice President Phillips for Personal Health uh, for the Indian subcontinent. Welcome, Gul Bahar. And again, health has taken center stage. Uh, immunity is important. We have Mr. Yadwinder Singh Guleria, who's the Director of Sales and Marketing for the Honda Motorcycle and Scooter India Private Limited. Welcome, Yadwinder. And again, personal mobility has taken the auto sales to a different level. We have Ms. Vishali Verma, who's the CEO of Initiative, and again, an important stakeholder. We have two brand owners, business owners. We have a agency CEO. We also have uh, Mr. Satyajit Singh Gupta, who's the CC SMO sales and marketing of the Danik Basket Group. Uh, again, he understands all this, the issues that the stakeholders have, the consumers, the readers, the media agency, and the clients and advertisers. Today, we will discuss the unlimited potential, uh, how are Indian language media platforms like Danik Bhaskar making sure that they are the bridge between the brands, businesses, uh, and uh, you know their own aspirations. What are the media consumption habits in Bharat? Uh, what has happened in the last seven, eight months? How print dominates uh, conversations in Bharat uh, and still is the most potent uh, media vehicle. Uh, we'll hear uh, the story of consumption that is being unfolded in the Bharat. Uh, we'll also talk from a standpoint of how media agency leaders are looking at this unfolding scenario. What are the nuanced changes? So Vishali will bring in perspective there. As a media owner, uh, how has the circulation come back to its pre-COVID levels? Uh, what are the initiatives uh, media owners have taken up? Indian language newspapers like Danik Bhaskar have taken up. Uh, where is the demand headed? And uh, we are in early part of November. Diwali is 10 days away. Uh, but what will happen beyond Diwali over the next five months? So to discuss these issues, let me bring in all the participants one by one for their opening comments. Then we'll do a discussion and we'll take audience questions at the end around 3.50. So let me start with Girish ji. Girish ji, over the last seven months, uh, uh, the epitaph of print has been written ki print to khatam ho gaya aur uh, bhasha hi akbar to khatam ho gaye jabki aap itne mote mote akbar nikal rahe hain ki main gym jaane ke bajaye unhi se uh, you know i can use them for weights you see an unprecedented advertising especially over the last two months so tell us what is happening in these indian markets uh, in bharat where the consumption has gone to such levels that in certain product categories uh, the business owners are running out of uh, you know supplies so give us a sense uh, of what's happening girish ji i'll start with the gst collection first of all uh, thank you anurag and uh, uh, thanks for having me over for this program so i'll start with the gst collection you must have noticed the september gst collection has uh, shown a growth of around 3% over last year now most importantly in all the markets especially madhya pradesh rajasthan gujarat uh, bihar and all that the growth is on an average of around 10% over last year. That clearly shows that the market has come back sooner and with more vigor than all we all thought about it. You know, see what happened as a human being, we get pessimistic much faster and we get optimistic also equally faster. So like, you know, extremes. So while in the month of April, May, we all thought that we are losing hope. Everything will, will is almost dead. Uh, I don't know how things will recover and all that. Uh, people were writing stories about... Uh, uh, fake news that's saying that, okay, banks are going to collapse, industries are going to collapse, people are going to lose jobs and all that. 
but what has happened from july onwards things have started recovering and let's talk about category mr guleri is here from two wheeler mr turani is here from uh, from a consumer durable yes, and the personal health care and all that and all these categories have seen a huge demand you know now that that clearly indicates that consumer wants to consume you know and especially what has happened in last 6 8 months time the other expenses see you have a wallet and you've been utilizing that wallet for multiple things now your wallet suddenly has stopped using that itself for the things which you can't use now you got you are not traveling so your traveling cost has been saved your kids are not going to school so your school fees is saved so there are a lot of other savings that happened and that people are you're utilizing you're not eating out you're not going to cinema yeah. so you're utilizing you're that for other, other purposes as for the newspapers are concerned uh, very clearly all the indian language newspaper and i'm very happy to announce that right from kerala to uttar pradesh to madhya pradesh to karnataka all these markets indian language newspapers have come back to almost 85 90% of their pre covid level now that's that's very very uh, good Both news in for circulation for as well as advertising so for the circulation we have come up to almost 85 90% advertising we are up to almost 80% of last year you know so we still have 15 20% to go back for the advertising and that also has been is been is a lag because of few categories you know category like like uh, for example lifestyle categories apparel categories take has taken a beating you know so these are there are few categories uh, like for example i was talking to one big automobile giant now they are not advertising because they have no no nothing to supply you know they are running short of supply so whatever is being made by their factories you know they are not able to fulfill the demand and hence they are saving money on the advertising you know so i think uh, overall if you say the india as a bharat we are in a pretty uh, okay stage and girish you I'll, i'll come back to you for one more comment before you leave us uh, i want to know the, till diwali we know this demand will sustain what post diwali what are uh, the few suggestions slash predictions that you have for beyond diwali देखिए अनुरागी मैं बहुत क्लियर हूँ ये जितने भी लोग प्रोडिक्शन मांगते हैं कि सर आप बताइए अगले साल क्या होगा छह महीने बाद क्या होगा ये सब एक्सेल शीट बनाने की बात है तो अभी तो आई थिंक वी शुड फोकस राइट नाउ की हमको दिवाली में वी शुड क्रॉस द लास्ट ईयर सेल और अचीव द लास्ट ईयर सेल यू नो दैट इज शुड बी दारगेट उसके बाद डिसम्बर जनवरी फिर देखिए कुछ ना कुछ रास्ता निकालेंगे थैंक यू सो फॉर बींग सो रियल एंड प्रेगमेटिक Uh, we would want one more comment before you leave, but let me bring everyone uh, now. Now, uh, Yadwinder Girish ji talked about your category, and we know that both in four wheelers and in two wheelers, uh, October has been a bumper month. Okay, for most brands. Okay, because uh, the need for personal mobility has gone up. Give a sense of where the sales are coming. Uh, what's happening in uh, the tier two, tier three cities, and why are they? such a big ray of hope for a product categories like yours yeah uh, thank you anurag ji for bringing me in now uh, as far as the uh, auto discussion is uh, on now now uh, here uh, what i want to say that uh, initially when the first unlock happened in the month of may obviously because the rural had less number of covid cases so the economic activity was more in the rural and at the same time there were many who were employed in the essential services and they were doing their duties you know hat off uh, to hats off to those uh, covid warriors but they needed that individual mobility and unfortunately there was no other way to go than the personal mobility because the public transport infrastructure was closed and uh, and there was anxiety also to use that public transport infrastructure on account of the hygiene the social distancing and all so this new need of individual personal mobility started coming in quite early which we have not predicted it earlier now uh, with the unlock 5.0 now which we are seeing the urban has also started opening so that's what you uh, once you see the results of october even though it is a wholesale number it is with anticipation of a productive uh, festival ahead of dhanteras and diwali which normally i say the 4d the 2d of the festival already gone the gone the durga puja and dashara and now the 2d is the left that is dhanteras and diwali so far so good as far as the first 2d is concerned we saw the positive retail sales again i am not talking about the uh, the moment of truth is always the retails rather than the dispatch number so we were in positive retail 
in the, from the first navratra up to the dashera so that has given us a, a very uh, big confidence as well as optimism that once we are moving ahead to the balance two d's we will see uh, another spike one is on back of this uh, the increased need and propensity of the uh, customers to go in for their individual personal mobility not the public transport uh, uh, infrastructure whether it is the metro or the city bus even the share taxi or autos like that and second is now more sectors have started opening up we are seeing the hotels are opening the restaurants are opening it's not only now the delivery at home we there are people who are also going and doing the fine dining so the people have started moving out because of the unlock 5.0 uh, which is uh, which has also increased the need of mobility as well more there is a hybrid structure of the working people work from home as well as there are many who are moving to the offices you know they are back to the office Uh, with even though it is one third of the manpower, so they also need their individual mobility. Now there is no uh, transport which is being provided by the companies because of the COVID and because of the health and uh, anxiety around the uh, social distancing. But there is a mobility need. So we see that uh, this need will be sustained because there is no vaccine around. Social distancing need to be maintained. and we cannot be uh, very uh, optimistic of the uh, hygiene suddenly and drastically improving on the public transport infrastructure so uh, with this background we we believe that uh, the push from the rural demand we are seeing the tractor sales doing very well there has been you know good monsoons the msp of the previous crop has been good kharif sowing so sowing has been good so there is positivity in the rural there is uh, urban opening up so both put together not only bharat alone now india and bharat together are expected to shine in the upcoming festival thank you and dare i ask that what is the role indian language newspaper have played in this including dhanik baskar because again there is a there is a widespread knowledge that uh, the habits of reading uh, the newspaper in their own language not changed it may have got impacted in the early part of covid but as girish ji said uh, circulation is back 85 90% uh, give us a sense of what's been your media strategy very briefly yeah i agree with the fact that in the early part of covid because it was not being allowed and it was under lockdown so most of the people were uh, consuming social media like never before so obviously most of the marketers even including the auto or the rest of the industries have gone more on the digital marketing uh, i think no. if i go on another webinar which is only digital exclusive i would not be changing my statement let me be honest you know it's not that we are right now discussing something on the print so we should be pro print and when we go to digital we should be uh, you know pro digital there is a balance we need to maintain based on the existing market scenario Uh, obviously and definitely there has been a larger consumption of social media but at the same time there is also a bit of the trust which we all talking about so any you know mistrust uh, basically all of us agree the mistrust rust the wheel of progress i repeat mistrust rust the wheel of progress so uh, oh traditionally we have seen the print has always a large following and a very high degree of trust because once which is printed it is there on the paper you know it's not that you can just tweak it and go back and you can change your tweet or you can withdraw your comment it's not like that so uh, vernacular has really played a very very big role as you before we started this uh, webinar we were discussing behind the scenes that you know they are there is a group of people and group of readers who are very very close to this habit of having the feel of the paper in their hands you know while they are consuming the news or, or they are following the current affairs so this is going to come back complemented obviously with the digital media because there is a social media uh, usage and uh, short news consumption has also increased at the same time both are going to complement each other and vernacular even in social media as well as print is going to play a much bigger role thank you so much uh, let me bring in vishali well as vishali we heard a media owner uh, we heard an advertiser uh, as a media agency you are responsible for spotting trends and insights and making sure there is an roi and there i say sales 
today. Today, uh, clients want even more delivery than they possibly wanted before. So give us a sense of what's happening and how do you think Bharat is the real champion? Yeah, so I completely agree, uh, you know, with both Mr. Yadivinder and Girish. Uh, so let me start by saying that uh, Bharat, which is as defined by the tier two, tier three cities we are talking about is has been a big potential across categories. So for CPG, it was always there. For auto, we heard. Uh, even for a lot of digital companies, you know, the e-commerce uh, giants today, uh, even for them and the reports which all of us have been reading that almost 50 to 60 percent of the sales which the e-commerce clients uh, advertisers got this festive was from tier two tier three cities and also the amount of sellers who came on uh, you know the platform uh, were from almost 60 or 65 percent of the sellers were from tier two tier three and tier four cities you know and there have been towns like, uh, you know, Jaunpur, Jhumri, Tilaya, and I was just reading a lot of these cities which has come. So that makes us believe that the resurgence of um, back to economy has come primarily from these, uh, you know, towns and cities. Of course, at the back of, uh, you know, huge digitization wave. I mean, today we are talking almost about 600 million internet users. So huge digitization wave. And of course, a very good uh, Kharif crop and which could have, you know, even given a lot of impetus, impetus to the rural economy. So we see the same trend as far as the consumption behavior is also concerned. Uh, of course, there was a brief period of lockdown, which was April and May, where we did see, uh, you know, the newspaper circulation coming down. And today, even our independent sources makes us believe that it's almost back to 90%. And most of the advertisers are back, uh, you know, to print a uh, medium uh, for their advertising. And for two reasons, you know, and we all know the amount of credibility and trust a newspaper carries is unparalleled, number one. And number two, the immediacy, which, you know, most of the advertisers are seeking currently. So everybody is looking at ROI, quick returns, quick sale. Uh, and there is, of course, a demand. It's a short period of six weeks. And newspaper does deliver, uh, you know, on those parameters uh, brilliantly. So that has, um, we are seeing that trend across. Of course, there are some sectors like lifestyle or travel, etc., which have seen a setback given that people are more at home. So that trend we see, a like, like, lo lot of those sectors and even for most of the advertisers we handle, uh, if they are in the lifestyle or in the travel uh, sectors are not uh, you know, forthright right now. But other than that, auto, uh, CPG, e-commerce, uh, tech platforms, uh, most of them are back, right? And most of them are back and they are back with print and uh, television, digital, you know, the, the same combination which typically works, which is no different. Uh, from what we had seen uh, last festive and a um, lot of growth again from uh, language when I say language which is non-English so I have seen um, spends overall coming down for English as far as you know even the newspaper advertising is concerned and uh, shifted more towards um, you know, language newspaper again in you know adherence to the kind of markets and um, towns we were targeting. And I think I also want to call out some of the publications did a lot of effort even initially to break those, uh, you know, myth. And uh, they did a lot of campaign around safety norms that uh, there were a lot of inhibitions earlier that we should not touch the newspaper, etc. It could be the carrier of COVID, etc. And hence, uh, there was a very brief period uh, when people went to e-newspaper. But I think now it's in our opinion, it's almost 90% uh, back. I totally agree with you, Vishali. And thank you for bringing that perspective. Gulbar, um, you know, again, your category, I'm hoping is growing healthily, uh, not just being, uh, you know, growing at a marginal pace. Uh, tell us what have you done over the last seven months to be able to pivot around what you've done to find new strategies, and especially last two months in terms of harnessing the potential of Bharat? I think, uh, first of all, thank you for inviting me. And uh, it is not about last two months. I think it is about what you were doing, especially in the month of April and May. 
you know what consumers have actually come to come and come out and told all of us is like uh, brands have to be responsible and brands have to be there when they need them and i think if if there was a time when consumers uh, wanted brands to communicate and give them a platform to share and consume content it was in the month of april and may when you know there were little avenues to uh, you know go out and do that so i would say whatever we are seeing in terms of uh, demand and also what brands have been able to do is also a, a, a factor of what brands did in april and may and uh, i would completely agree with mr girish because uh, you know it is we we get op- pessimistic very very soon and we get optimistic also too soon while the reality is if you if you keep uh, the basics and the fundamental in place and when i when i say so so self self for example uh, we deal in uh, you know categories which are do it yourself so whether that is male grooming so whether that's your trimmer clipper or whether whether that is the female grooming now this was a phenomenon which was already gaining speed pre covid also what covid did was it actually accelerated the phenomenon consumers actually started using these gadgets more often at home they realized that they can be of great help and this is going to stay not only till till diwali but beyond that also so few of the habits change have also happened which is going to actually help brands and businesses to grow and coming to bharat uh, i think kudos to uh, you know all the language newspapers and all and i belong to bhopal uh, and mr girish will agree that there is aspiration and there is also potential but it is up to the players to identify that and also tailor make uh, you know products and communication for that aspiration sometimes what happens is we we believe that one size fits all and we also are of the belief that what is relevant in delhi is relevant in bhopal or say for example in nagpur may or may not be i am not saying it's you know so and that is why um, consumers are there consumers are speaking out they are keeping their aspiration out they are ready to spend it is up to us to crack that code identify the insight and also not take it for granted saying you know one strategy fits all and that is why i was hearing the comments in terms of media planning i think that is also one of the topics wherein uh, i am always been faced with questions in how much how much percentage of your promotional budget is going to now digital and print at all i think not a relevant question what is relevant is is my spend increasing on all the platforms is there a platform wherein we have stopped spending now that's that's more relevant because with the growing needs and with the growing aspirations maybe your promotion budget has also increased many many folds and that's where you see all the all the mediums and platforms getting their the their share of Uh, i would say expense so that is why i would say uh, bharat is, is is fundamental to any brand's growth now the only thing is uh, it is not one size fit all and we need to really dig deep into the insights and then you know i would say make communications which are relevant for them thank you so much gulbaw for changing the perspective i wish more marketers thought like you satyajit uh, you heard Uh, everyone and again it's your job to be able to find those innovative solutions that gulbar is talking of that one size doesn't fit all uh, uh, there's no cookie cutter approach to it advertising in the traditional format doesn't you have to do activation you have to build a solution so advertising is definitely very much big part of it but you go beyond give us your sense of the kind of solutions you at denik bhaskar have been providing and give us a sense of what's happening in the market through that yeah so uh, very clearly you know one thing that uh, and we have talked about indian language newspapers getting back circulation and uh, you know categories coming back all that is true uh, but uh, you know i think uh, more importantly what we have managed to look at is uh, very early on how to get the the customer back to the advertiser because that i think is the crux of where our revenue rests and uh, everything that we have done over the past 4 5 months has been you know channelized towards that uh, we have looked at uh, you know very clearly two things uh, uh, the indian language newspapers especially you know in the markets that we are uh, the advantage that we have apart from the trust and credibility is the understanding into the market you know every city has its own nuances you know we are, we are not catering to homogeneous markets right the state has many parts 
for example, you know, Gujarat is not one Gujarat. There are you know several places in Gujarat. So there's Ahmedabad, Mehsana, there's Saurashtra, which is very different. There's Southern Gujarat, which is very which is different. So we look at you know breaking up the kind of markets that we represent into you know regions, into cities, and then working out solutions based on that. So you know based on the need of the advertiser, the client at the moment, looking at the context, looking at the communication, looking at what works in a particular market. Our solutions have all been based on that. So we do have, you know, uh, a very, very uh, sizable print presence. We do have radio. My FM is a large station, and we do have considerable digital presence now. So we've used all of that to provide solutions which are delivering. You know, and they are delivering. We know that because advertiser after advertiser has come to us and say that yes, response is coming. And there are several, you know, uh, you know, several of these deals which we have done, which are all about getting the uh, response. So result-oriented or you know accountability-based models that we talk about. So those have been you know pretty successful. So this probably you know has been our approach, which has really helped, and this is evident in the kind of uh, response we have got in the festive season, where we are already back to about 85% of our ad value. Thank you so much, Satyajit, for making uh, Girishi. Uh, we've been able to bring all the stakeholders into this conversation. Advertiser who sit at the head of the so to say the table because it's their money uh, that we kind of utilize to be able to fuel our uh, growth to give a free product to the consumers so tell us uh, girish ji aisi kaun si cheeze hain jo media planners abhi bhi nahi dekh rahe now there are things uh, there are non obvious things i i remember meeting you 21 years back uh, in the office of a leading media agency i was i just started exchange for media and i was sitting outside and you were coming and meeting a media agency ceo and i remember my first conversation i known about you when i met you for the first time and you talked about you know how uh, there were things on the ground that planners were in the way uh, a lot has changed in 21 years but a lot hasn't changed so give us a sense of post covid what are the new realities that uh, marketers and media planning professionals need to be kind of brought up to speed with so two different things one is the media planner and one is the marketer so uh, media planners look at the numbers you know unki majboori keh lijiye so they only look at a number because they don't have the ground understanding by themselves unfortunately the format of media planning doesn't allow them to go to the ground and especially what i've seen in last 15 20 years time that media planners have alienated themselves a lot from the ground reality they they rely on the numbers only while on the marketer side they have 100% knowledge of the market because their sales team you know they keep feeding them the the number what is happening on the ground and the so distributor fact, yeah and the distributor. in fact i was talking to couple of uh, other uh, friends of mine those who are into businesses so they have been now talking about that how they want to reduce the strength of their marketing team at head office and shift that team into the regions because Absolutely. see sitting at bombay and delhi you still feel different perception about bihar you know uh, 99% of the media planners those who don't come from bihar and jharkhand they can't even imagine how the bihar and jharkhand would be for example and and thanks to all this ott platform and that movies the up and the bihar and madhya pradesh and rajasthan are shown in a different image also altogether you know so you think of up you think of mirzapur and all that now now that's not the reality of life actually but that's how the media planner believes while the marketers have much more knowledge so i would actually suggest all the media planners that guys next since anyway you are operating from home okay so your company should now give you a transfer they should post you in lucknow kanpur bhopal jaipur hyderabad visakhapatnam and you rent a house there and you operate from there so two things will happen your work from home will continue as well as you will understand a particular market and then the kind of value input you will be able to bring into a client's media plan will be humongous and that's what marketing people do if you ask mr uh, gulbahar and if you ask mr uh, uh, guleria they these people travel to their market practically every week but for covid in last 6 uh, 8 months otherwise every week they are in one of the region that way they understand the pulse of the market so i think that is most important for any marketers and also media planners need to understand they are media planners but for market 
So hence, they need to understand the market. Beautifully said, Girishi. Uh, Vashali, uh, would you like to respond to what Girishi said? Yeah, the first disclaimer, I'm from Jharkhand. <laughs> and um, I'm a, from a small town uh, place called Ranchi. And um, so I, yeah, so I agree partially and not completely because yes, most of the people sitting in Bombay and Delhi, um, you know, uh, could not allude to it uh, until the time you do market visits, etc. And hence, we rely a lot on uh, publications themselves to educate us, you know, so we call them for road shows and we call them, uh, you know, before the start of the festive to give us insight into what's happening. And that gives a lot of, in, uh, you know, insight which uh, they actually give it to the planners. And similarly, from the advertiser uh, as well, right? Because they have a lot of on-ground response from their dealers, from their distributors, from their uh, RSMs, etc. So numbers, yes, are used at directionally. But there are a lot of these insights which we pick up both from, uh, you know, the publications as well as our advertisers. So... Um, and, and that would be my desire to continue doing it. And as much as insight, we could pick up from, uh, I mean, nobody would know, uh, you know, a Bhopal like a Danny Bhaskar or nobody will know uh, UP better than a Jagran and so on and so forth, right? So it is extremely important that planners and buyers spend that time uh, understanding the nuances of that market. And as somebody was just saying that it is, um, you know, it's micro planning, which is coming in, right? So every state and every district has to be dealt separately. And where will the next uh, level of growth come from? It will come from more customization, right? So hence, it's extremely important. So uh, agreeing a bit and also saying that from our uh, perspective, we would always want to take as much rich insights we could drive from both advertiser and publications. Satyajit, your view? Yeah, surely. So I, 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 that's exactly what I was saying. You know, the kind of planning that needs to take place now, and we are seeing this every day. It's not at the level of, you know, and I know of certain large advertisers who are not even looking at metros this time. You know, they didn't look at so typically plans used to start from metros. This time, for the first time, I got to know that, you know, no planning has been done for the metros. We are looking at states and within states, we are looking at regions. And then, you know, going down to the level of maybe districts. So that is that I think is pretty, you know, pretty, pretty much the way things will uh, emerge out of this. And uh, planning will happen at that level. You know, that, that understanding, that insight is something which, uh, you know, has to happen. And I think we as, uh, you know, players in, in the regional print are very well placed there because we understand markets like Gujarat, Rajasthan, MP and whichever, you know, 12 states we are in, in a very different manner. And we can give you local nuances, which, you know, the, perhaps no one else can get. And then the, you know, based on the context, based on the regional nuances, based on, you know, the insights that emerge from there, communication can be tailor-made, which will have to give results. Because otherwise, how will you get results? Thank you so much. Uh, let me bring in Gulbar, your comment on what Girish ji said and what Vaishali and Satyajit has said. Well, I think very, very valid. I would just like to add one more dimension to it. I think one of the fundamental things from a process point of view, which we should keep intact is briefing and debriefing both. See, I think uh, a lot of times we assume things and, you know, we, we believe that this is, so I, I have particularly observed, uh, as Mr. Girish was saying that, you know, marketers know their market, but sometimes even the media planners, agencies, uh, you know, they are in a hurry or sometimes even the marketing brief is not uh, very, very clear. So I think from both the sides, uh, the idea should be that we should be able to clearly articulate our vision of what we want out of this campaign. And I would request agencies and media planners also to probe more so that you know exactly you know, what the person wants. And I think if, if this process goes well, uh, then uh, you will see more creative ideas. Otherwise, what is, what is happening is we are falling prey of a cycle and we go by assumptions that this is what the person is saying and this is what the needs. For example, uh, I, I see a lot of people coming and starting with digital. I don't know whether I need digital or not. I'm, I'm just saying that I need to do a campaign. So I would say listening is an, is, is an art which has to, again, build in and have to stay, you know, we have to keep our focus on the basics of what we used to do. Thank you, Gulbar. And anyway, you have a very unique name. It's the only Gulbar I know, uh, <laughs> male or female, let me clarify. Uh, yeah, Dwinda, uh, 
you heard Girishi that marketers have a first-hand knowledge of the market because of their sales numbers, distributors, and marketers doing market visits. And I know over the last 20 years, Girish has consistently said about media planners making market visits. I think that he said in the first conversation I had with him at the reception of a media agency, and I think more than 20 and a half years back, I hear parts of that today in what he said. So do you think you'd be moving more marketers to, let's say, regional offices where sales are happening, where they need to understand the nuances of what works in terms of media vehicles? You'll have to unmute yourself. Yadwain, unmute is the second most popular word of 2020. First being yes. COVID, third being mute. Yes, yes. And then, uh, you know, so, instead of... Bharat, like... I just thought of a headline for exchange for media. Unmuting the Indian economy, the Bharat way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then also, please add instead of ICU to ECU, because right now we are meeting all virtually. So I would like to answer into uh, you know uh, in, I will add two things to it. Uh, first was uh, what was the take of Mr. Girish on this? So Girish ji mentioned about you know there should be a media planner, then we have marketers, and how do we take the feedback? And uh, Mr. Gulbahar also added the, you know the brief. So I think it is a mix of all those things. There need to be a collaborative approach. When I say collaborative approach, it cannot be there without trust. You know, that is the basic ingredient to have that collaborative approach. Otherwise, it is going to be merely a cooperation. Any collaboration without trust is merely cooperation. That means we are not able to exploit the possibilities fully. So the media planner and then the marketeers and the media agency itself, if the purpose is very made very clear, you want awareness, you want to have sales, you know, what is the objective or from the client perspective, if that is briefed properly, and then we trust the abilities of the professionals and equally giving the weightage to the feedback by those who are sitting in the market. You know, the, we, everybody has regional office, whether it is Philips or Honda, you know, every company has many regional journal offices which are closer to the market. We call them eyes and ears. But once we want to spend the money, then we ignore those eyes and ears, you know, that will not make the things happen. So we need to have that trust uh, coming in. And then with the approaching, uh, with a collaborative uh, way of doing the things where we need to trust uh, the professional inputs and accordingly, pick, uh, you know, uh, finally pick up a mix of the media. Uh, and I would also like to say that today we must also understand that there are lot, lots of WMDs in the market, weapons of mass distraction. And once there are a lot of weapons of mass distraction, then marketers have this big, big challenge how to get the attention of this you know, uh, customer who is already 24 by 7 online and sometimes maybe going into the hard paper to read. So what is, you know, what their consumers or intenders are basically consuming. So this is very important for them uh, to get that human attention and awareness towards their products or services, what we are selling. So then have a revised and recalibrated media mix based on the season, the product, the market, the target audience, and expertise uh, input, you know, outside in approach. Sometimes it also happened that the brand feels, you know, not invented he here approach, NIH syndrome. Oh, what, I know the best and nobody can know better than me. I am at the pulse of the market. So all those things are there. So I think let's uh, unwind ourselves, open our mind, have those inputs outside in. Definitely things will be much, much better. Since you talk of weapons of mass destruction, I just want to ask you, who do you think will win in the American elections? Biden or Trump? I don't know. I'm sure you get who's the weapon of mass destruction. But you said distraction, destruction, yeah. sometimes. Yeah, yeah. So I just, yeah, I just modified from destruction to distraction. <laughs> so I think the master of distraction may win the election. <laughs> That's not a very clear answer and a very clear answer. So you're saying Trump may win it, okay? So uh, it's a very close election. We'll see. Girishi, uh, whom do you put your money on? Biden or Trump? I'm not saying supporting. I think right now we are trying to be focused on Bharat and India. Okay. You know, so what happened in the U.S. is our second priority. 
okay. so as we said that I this is like the time that. to be more local talk about our country and being atmanirbhar yeah but but what happens if a uh, democratic president comes in uh, at least the popular perception is trump and uh, republican president is better for india in every way but uh, that's the reason it is relevant but uh, i just wanted to since he talked of wmd uh, we'll come back to bharat thank you uh, girish ji for bringing back us to bharat and now let me take in there are about nine questions uh, 19 questions not nine there were nine last time i looked at uh, so i'll take a question that uh, manoj nair asking most of the markets tier 2 tier 3 tier 4 will only rely on print because of the credibility of the news where in a where a reader can definitely ask the reporter of the source of news maker physically or face to face about the authenticity believe it or not uh, uh, there is no electricity in a lot of markets so there are television dark areas tv plans may be ruled out in prime time it's a comment vishali what do you have to say that and then i'll take gulbar and uh yadvendra I, I i didn't understand the question so uh, he basically basically vishali he is saying that one in um, you know there will be television dark area so hence indian language newspapers become the first choice and the source of news the local reporter the editor are very local so you actually know by reputation what is true what's not so he is advocating the case of indian language newspapers to be more effective than television in uh, some of the hinterland okay so i um, i'm not sure whether uh, you know a more effective i think it's uh, television has a different role to play and print has a different role to play and uh, both work in tandem even in, even if for uh, smaller uh, cities as well because you do uh, you know use television for your brand building creating that long term awareness and uh, sustain your campaign etc there's a emotional connect you want to build uh, with your brand etc and print of course has uh, as a powerful medium um delivers instant uh, you know uh, launch uh, feel immediacy uh, very good for promotion partnerships on ground activation etc so both have a different role to play i don't think so one can replace uh, each but uh, my answer would be that one needs to understand what is the objective and uh, the role what we are trying to achieve from your objective of your brand or consumer whichever you are talking about and then accordingly devise the best media uh, mix and to handle questions or to handle situations where they are uh, you know media dark etc i yes there are still television dark it's television yeah. dark sorry no, no, like this is the problem and yeah dark. but i don't think so that stays for long i mean whatever i'm hearing uh, things are much better there was some uh, during summers it happens but it's a very uh, temporary situation uh, which we would uh, you know which we know of thank you so much uh, uh i want to uh, move towards closure and let me bring in all the panelists and i'll take some questions but i want to ask you what is your top lockdown lesson let me start this time with gulbar gulbar what's your top lockdown lesson i'm talking philosophically i'm not talking so much business media brands and then kind of extrapolate it to our um, area of work you will have to unmute us and goodbye yeah, yeah. so i think philosophically if you ask me i think it was a great reality check okay we were all running and uh, running uh, without actually taking a pause and checking whether we are in the right direction or not so i think personally if you ask me i think uh, that was the biggest lesson to see that where we are heading to uh, and uh, if i have to correlate it with the business and all i think uh, the most important thing uh, that covid has taught us is uh, you know anything and everything is possible i think none of the business never say ever, never. never never say said. never none of us ever ever, ever thought think will about you think i can grow hair always always Thank always you. i think i think everyone uh, in the in the, in the panel will agree <laughs> there is so much for giving me hope uh i but jokes apart i totally agree with you uh never say never you know it is op- we've taken a pause we've slowed down we've looked at things and a lot of uh, kind of mind blocks in our um, you know reality have been broken because we said this is not possible that and we've survived with all that you know and in some cases thrived 
you're absolutely right that uh, and i i think as an as as a result of that uh, we are more open uh, to ideas and new ways of working and also uh, we have learned that we have to be agile absolutely so agility agile. matters a lot speed of response speed of a solution speed of go to market for a campaign yes. uh, shooting campaigns in you know very limited resources and with high and tight because we couldn't travel so and clearly that have brought out the best in us sometimes they say necessity is the mother of invention yes. um and you are creative because there is no other choice you have so clearly thank you gulbar i fully agree with you vishali what is your top lockdown lesson i think there are many but uh, the biggest thing is i think what i have started i have started valuing everything so you value time you value relationships you value uh, you know everything around you um and secondly you learn to be far more patient and uh, you know you you're far more resilient uh, as compared to what you were so things will happen it there's a certain slow down but things will happen and you know stay positive thank you so much staying positive corona negative but otherwise positive yeah. uh and i totally agree with you that uh, one less is more uh, you know and very importantly resilience we all have resilience uh, within us and you know when we bring it to play magic happens and you're right uh, we value we don't take things for granted whether it's a relationship our health or just having a cup of coffee in a restaurant i mean it seems like a luxury i mean just traveling and being uh, doing the same things that we did in the past you know if we felt like going out so those you know don't any take anything for granted i think that that's true and enjoy being the moment uh, we need to be mindful we need to and you know long plans not don't necessarily are relevant i'm not saying they may work they may not work uh, we don't know what will happen in the future uh, yadwinder uh, your top lockdown lessons so as you mentioned you know unmute so i you know that's the first learning of uh, this coronial era all right uh yes so uh, in the first lockdown there was there nothing to go out the only way was go in you know inside and introspect and i must say that uh, this crisis basically triggered the quickening of advancement and this advancement is not only related to your business i would say advancement of whatever you were planning to do earlier maybe spirituality you are you know developing your passion giving more time to your family or you know starting something new new becoming more health conscious but when people got time it quickened that advancement because they have you know ample of time to think over somebody went into you know like cooking and lot of new recipes spending more time in the kitchen or spending more time on ludo or some other you know games which we never played with the family for many many years so definitely it was a time to go inside introspect and look at the world with a total new vision which our otherwise daily 18 20 hours of the regular routine kind of work would not have given us time to think over these things very seriously so it quickened as i said the advancement in whatever was your purpose of life thank you so much satyajit uh, i have known you personally for many years what's your top lockdown lesson so uh, i i know some my top lesson is something that you referred to in a certain way i think uh, as business professionals we give a lot of time trying to manage the future but uh, you know suddenly we came to you know a position where we don't know what the future is so what i learned is you know how do you manage the present i think that I, it became very important you really put managing in the present managing doing the right thing today and you know then day by day every day you do the right thing and things start taking care of themselves i think that's the one thing right thank at. you so much and let me kind of extrapolate that you know when you look at startups you look at early stage businesses earlier they talked of gmv they talked of uh, how much money we waste i think their mentality has shifted to a marwari mentality how much money did we make today galle mein kitne paise aaye they live by day by day valuations will automatically happen we moved from being unicorns to proficorns you know headlines change from how much you raised to how much sales you've done so clearly if you put in your best in the moment everything else becomes better i agree with you fully uh 
I want to end by the panel by asking your final comments for future. And let me start with Satyajit you this time. Uh, newspapers have reinvented themselves. Indian language newspapers have reinvented themselves. Tell us uh, how have they been able to reinvent? Give us a sense of what you've done in Dainik Bhaskar. So very clearly, you know, the kind of connect that we have established, see, there, there are two things, you know, it's the, uh, the things like credibility, trust, things like, you know, non-metro or the Bharat uh, markets coming up. I think this has been true for quite a few years now. It's not that it's happened. Absolutely. What has happened probably is that this entire pandemic has facilitated or hastened that process. But what I think we have managed to do is we have developed a much stronger connect with our uh, advertisers. We have also, you know, demonstrated a lot of ability to, you know, give results. That I think is the most important because if once you demonstrate that, then there is a lot of confidence that we get from advertisers, which has been evident in, you know, a lot of case studies being built towards how, you know, uh, communication, how, you know, as I was talking about sales link deals, etc., have been happening. And that will is something which will stand us in good stead in the future because uh, we have to build up on this. Uh, solution after solution tells us that you know marketers will need the regional print to work not only you know more in in terms of more ad volumes but in very different ways as well in terms of uh, integrated communication in terms of on ground activations in terms of you know looking at market insights and how city wide plans can be made etc. So that I think is pretty much the way we are looking at working with advertisers in the future. Thank you so much, Satyajit. Uh, Gulbar, your final comments. No, I think uh, if, if uh, you know if you talk about print, uh, Satyajit summarized it very well. Nothing to add there. But uh, otherwise, I think overall, uh, I see a lot of positivity uh, in the environment. And uh, we have to keep doing the things the way we are doing and stay agile. I think otherwise, nothing to worry unnecessarily. Thank you so much. And you are going to increase your media spends, right, Gulbar? I think I even need not to say that. Uh, Satyajit will confirm that. <laughs> Vishali, uh, your final comments. Yeah, so I think uh, we should have a long term, uh, a little bit of a long term view. So festive, yes, is for, uh, you know, quick results, etc. But we need to build longer relationships with the brand. And hence, uh, continued relationship in some form or the other, we should continue to build with our brands because there is plethora of choices available to the consumer. And hence, brands who have managed to build a successfully emotional connect are the brands who you know survive for long in your consumer's mind. So uh, my submission would be that we should keep thinking and innovating um, our solutions towards building a better connect with the consumer. Yadwinda, your final comment. Yeah, just taking forward uh, from where Vishali left on, you know, the brand. And to summarize, I would say, and that too in vernacular, and uh, because we are talking about Bharat, so I will try to put it in Hindi only, that, uh, uh, you know, all the brands which recalibrated their Niti, Niyat, they will keep their Naam, Namak or Nishan. Jinki Niyat saaf hai, wo apna Naam, Namak or Nishan uh, that's a beautiful sentiment uh, to leave it on. I personally say that this has been a time of transformation, as uh, Yadwinder rightly said, to introspect, uh, uh, as Gulbar said, be in the moment, do the best you can right now. And as Vishali said, of, while you do all this, uh, have faith in the universe, think a little long term, um, and have faith. And Satyajit, you rightly said, uh, that we need to provide solutions. Uh, so I would say, I keep saying whenever there is rain, look for rainbows. Whenever it's dark, look for stars. I think it's the time to look for rainbows and stars. And there are enough in the universe, so to say. So thank you for talking to us about the potential of Bharat, which is huge. It is untapped. I think uh, the growth in almost every category come will come from Bharat. And uh, Bharat, also is a lot about, I mean, it's an aspirational bar. So as things get better, they will also kind of embrace categories and products that for now they're not embracing and using. I would also build on what Girish Ji said, that the share of wallet today is uh, kind of di directed towards essentials. So actually there is much more money because they've saved money 
in the last six, seven months, and they're putting it on real estate. They're putting it on mobility. They're putting it technology. Uh, Kulbar talked of the do-it-yourself economy. That's very big. Uh, by the way, I use a product of yours, Kulbar. Uh, two products of yours, not one. Uh, and I bought them from a shop in Defense Colony uh, where I live. So I'm just saying that I think uh, the best time is ahead of us. It's been a good Diwali season. I think the last two months have been good. We hope and pray that over the next few weeks, COVID actually kind of subsides and uh, we do return to some kind of normal because right now we are living at normal times. So I wish you luck. I wish you health and I wish you a good festive season. Uh, if we have these three, you know, businesses and media will thrive. Thank you so much. God bless you. Uh, to all the Exchange for Media viewers and readers, thank you for making sure that we get your respect and your attention all the time and keeping us as a leader. It's very difficult times when we are, as, as a platform are asked to take sides and we've chosen not to take sides. Uh, uh, we believe in being balanced. We believe in being being. Uh, positive on the ecosystem uh, and I can tell you uh, that media still has a lot of credibility left and all the stakeholders uh, have lots to contribute. So I will leave it on that and uh, thank all our viewers and readers uh, for engaging with us on a daily basis. Thank you Satyajit, thank you Gulbar, Vaishali and I uh, filled in for Nawal because he's not been well last four days. I'm sure he'll be okay. But at least I got an opportunity to talk to all of you. Thank you once again. Good afternoon. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.